Welcome ladies and gentlemen, tonight Smackdown comes from you live in our nation's capital, Washington DC. Tonight we have a great card for you in our first Smackdown event of this new WWE Universe mode. So tonight coming at you we have two great main event matches, two great main event quality matches. First up is Dean Ambrose against one of the up and coming stars of the WWE, Baron Corbin. They will go one on one. Then in our main event, the big match of the night, AJ Styles will take on Brock Lesnar inside of a steel cage. The winner of this match will go on to face John Cena for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship at Extreme Rules at the end of the month. So let's get started here tonight. We have Jason Jordan, one half of the WWE Tag Team Champions, uh, American Alpha squaring off against Jay Uso. Both uh, of the Usos looking to get after the America American Alpha's championships, but tonight one-on-one -on -one match, and it's going to be Jay Uso defeating Jason Jordan. So the challengers get a victory in a one-on-one -on -one competition. Next up, we have two women superstars both looking to position themselves for Becky Lynch's. SmackDown Women's Championship. And it's going to be Alexa Bliss picking up a big win over Naomi. Next up, Tag Team Competition. One of the most talented tag teams on SmackDown, the VOD Villains, will face our newest tag team, a tag team that has just formed Rikishi and Mark Henry. And it's going to be the Vaudevillains picking up that victory. So the new tag team has some work to do, some chemistry to figure out. Next up, we have Apollo Crews and Big Show. Apollo Crews lost a match on NXT on Wednesday. And the Big Show made some comments to WWE.com saying that he didn't think that the hype surrounding Apollo Crews was very justified. Apollo Crews took exception. And here we go, a match on SmackDown. And it's going to be the Big Show picking up a huge victory over Apollo Crews. Making his statements even more justified. But now, it is time for a co-main event of the night, Dean Ambrose facing off with Baron Corbin. So here we go, live from Washington, D.C., our co-main event of the night. And here comes Dean Ambrose. Ambrose was a little bit upset that he was not one of the competitors in tonight's main event. That match, of course, is a number one contenders match for John Cena's championship. Ambrose believes that he should have been in that competition. And he will have his chance tonight to prove himself against one of the young up-and-coming superstars in this business, Baron Corbin. A lot is on the line here tonight for Baron Corbin. He has an opportunity to pick up a huge victory over one of the top superstars on SmackDown. If he can find a way to pull that off, he might just put himself right in to that title conversation. 
But that's going to be easier said than done. Dean Ambrose is not one to be taken lightly. And you see Corbin here approaching the ring. Very intimidating force in the WWE, but a young superstar. He has a lot to learn here. Here is a test for him to prove himself against one of the top stars here in business. We are just about to get set here from Washington, D.C. Dean Ambrose against Baron Corbin, and there comes the bell, and here they go. Baron Corbin starting out early here with a kick to the midsection. Looking to set up some type of suplex. Oh, and what a slam there from Corbin into a clothesline. But what the hell is this? What the hell is this? It's Dave Batista. What the hell is Dave Batista doing here? Dave Batista, who has not been in the WWE in a few years, is here in Washington, D.C., in his hometown, and he is looking on in this match. What kind of business does he have here between Corbin and Ambrose? Back to the match here, though. Dean Ambrose with a backdrop right on Baron Corbin's neck, folding his back in half. A few right hooks to the side of the head there and then slamming his face into the mat. But here comes Corbin. Corbin counters, driving that left arm right into the shoulder. Irish whip from Corbin and what is he going to do? Spine buster from Baron Corbin. With huge impact there. And Dean Ambrose being stalked here in a huge right hand to the side of the face. Right into the jaw of Dean Ambrose. The young Corbin taking control of this match right now. Dave Batista looking on from the outside has not gotten involved in this match here. Here's a cover from Ambrose. Can he get a quick one? One. No, that's just a one count there from Dean Ambrose trying to steal one. Like I said here, Dave Batista still looking on from the outside has not tried to interfere into this contest yet. And there's a double axe handle from the top rope from Dean Ambrose. And there's Corbin uppercut to the jaw. And looking for a suplex here, Baron Corbin. And he's gonna drive Dean Ambrose back first into the mat. And here's a cover from Corbin, one. Kick out from one there. to the back from Baron Corbin, and here we go. There's Ambrose with a counter. Arm drag onto Baron Corbin, and there's an arm drag from Corbin. Not allowing Dean Ambrose to get any control into this match, and there's a counter by Ambrose with a German suplex. And Dave Batista clapping on the outside. Dave Batista clapping after that German suplex from Dean Ambrose. Now Ambrose motioning for Corbin, and kicks him right into the pectoral. Now Ambrose on top, what's he going to do here? Dean Ambrose looking to fly, motioning for Baron Corbin to get up, and there's a diving elbow to the top of the head. Dean Ambrose back into this match in a big way, and he has Baron Corbin in a lot of trouble here. A lot of trouble here, going for the dirty deeds, and he hits it! Dean Ambrose hits the dirty deeds! Dave Batista screaming on the outside, one, two, Oh, and a kick out at two from Baron Corbin. Corbin kicks out of the Dirty Deeds. And Dean Ambrose right back to the top turnbuckle. And he's going to dive elbow right to the chest. Is he going to go for another cover here? That might do it. Dragging a lifeless Baron Corbin into the center of the ring here. And another kick right to the chest. But Corbin back to his feet here and a little snapmare. Snapmare takedown on to Dean Ambrose and now grabbing that neck area, squeezing that neck area of Dean Ambrose. But Baron Corbin, Baron Corbin 
Deep six. Deep six from Baron Corbin out of nowhere. He gets a two count. A lot of maneuver by Baron Corbin coming out of nowhere on Dean Ambrose. And now Baron Corbin celebrating. A little bit of showmanship to the crowd here after his huge end of day, or I'm sorry, his huge deep six. But now, now it looks like the end of days is coming, in fact, and it is. And it is Baron Corbin, it's the end of days. Can he get the cover? Can he get the cover on Dean Ambrose? What an upset this would be. One, two, and Ambrose powers on. What a match. What a match we are seeing here tonight. Baron Corbin has kicked out of the Dirty Deeds, and now Dean Ambrose has kicked out of the end of days. And this match is still wide open. I mean, we're still trying to figure out what the hell Dave Batista is doing here. Why is he here on SmackDown? <clears throat> now Baron Corbin looking for a shoulder mounted power bomb. A stomp to the midsection. Baron Corbin taking it to one of the top superstars we have here on SmackDown. Now Baron Corbin looking to go up top. Baron Corbin looking to go. What's he going to do here? And a diving clothesline. A diving lariat. He's going to go for a cover here. He might have him. I might do it. One, two, and a kick out at two. Strong kick out from Ambrose there after that diving lariat from the top turn buckle. But Corbin is not going to relent here. But here comes Ambrose with an uppercut. And Ambrose trying to get back into this match, but Corbin with an Irish whip into the corner. But there, an elbow to the face from Ambrose, trying to get himself back into this contest. Not allowing Corbin to do anything here. And there's a punch to the midsection. A scoop slam, a scoop driver. Here we go, one, two. Is this going to do it? No. The crowd in Washington, D.C. is on their feet. And here comes Dean Ambrose, letting him know that he appreciates it. What is it going to take for one of these men to pick up a three count here? And he looks for a punt to the side of the head, and it's counter. And now into an end of days. Into the end of days. Corbin's going to go for the cover. One, two, three. Baron Corbin picks up a huge victory over Dean Ambrose here on SmackDown. What a contest, ladies and gentlemen. What heart shown by both of these competitors in this match. Both men able to kick out of one another's finishers until Baron Corbin was able to hit that second end of days that put Dean Ambrose away. Baron Corbin raising his arm in the center of the ring. What a win for the young Corbin here on SmackDown. But we still don't know what the hell Dave Batista is doing out here and what kind of business he has in this match. So what a win that was for Baron Corbin picking up a huge victory in our co-main event against Dean Ambrose. But now it is time for the main event of the evening. AJ Styles facing off against the Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar inside of a steel cage. The winner will go on to Extreme Rules in three weeks and face John Cena for the WWE Championship. Here comes the phenomenal one, AJ Styles.
This crowd here in Washington, D.C. is going crazy for one of the top superstars here on SmackDown, AJ Styles. AJ is hungry. He is ready for a shot at that WWE Championship at Extreme Rules. But it's going to be easier said than done here, walking through the beast incarnate Brock Lesnar. Paul Heyman will not be by his side tonight. There is a steel cage separating these competitors from the outside, so there will be no funny business going on from Paul Heyman tonight. Here he comes, Brock Lesnar. Arguably the most dominating presence in the WWE today. He is ready for his shot at another WWE Championship ring and his first here in this new universe mode. Lesnar looking up at that steel cage, looking up at that structure which both of these men will soon be contained by. I'm AJ Styles. I don't know how I feel about being locked inside of a cage with the beast himself, Brock Lesnar. So here we go. The cage is being lowered around these two superstars. A WWE Championship match is on the line, and here they go. Lesnar with a punch to the midsection. Irish whip, but he pulls back and a boot to the chest, dropping AJ Styles. And now Lesnar already getting comfortable in that corner. Already feeling like he has this match in hand. Huge double axe handle in the back, and then another club that sends AJ back down to the mat was continuing to assault that back of AJ Styles. And another one! Absolutely vicious assault, but here comes Styles! AJ Styles with a spine buster on Brock Lesnar, getting himself back into this match, and here he comes. Lesnar's up. Lesnar is up, and he's going for an Irish whip. And into... Going for a power, a scoop slam there, but AJ Styles reverses, and now he's going to go for a suplex of his own and a backdrop. Right onto the right arm of Brock Lesnar. Springboard from AJ Styles and a moonsault. He hits a moonsault off the second rope. But here comes Lesnar again. Not phased by that high-flying maneuver from AJ Styles, but a fireman's carry. What a reversal into a German suplex. First German suplex of the match for Brock Lesnar. And it's only a matter of time before we see another one of those from the Beast Incarnate. Now Brock Lesnar locking up the head of AJ Styles and vicious elbows to the top of the skull. That could easily cut AJ Styles open. Now Lesnar, look at the strength here with a gut wrench bomb from Brock Lesnar. But Styles right back with a left arm clothesline dropping the 265 pounder. And now he's going to look for a vertical suplex. And he hits it. What strength by AJ Styles to hit that suplex. Going for a cover here, but... 
one of these men is going to have to escape this cage. And another snap suplex from AJ Styles. Dropping the knee right into the head of Brock Lesnar. And now it appears AJ Styles in full control of this match, dragging Lesnar to the center of the ring. And a huge enzigiri from AJ Styles. And now AJ's going to go for another off the rope and an elbow drop to the kidneys. Styles is in complete control and here he goes. AJ Styles with a WWE Championship match on the line is going to try and get out of this cage. And he's going to do it. Ladies and gentlemen, AJ Styles is going to Extreme Rules. What a match there from AJ Styles and Brock Lesnar. It seemed as though Lesnar was in complete control early on in this match, but Styles was able to hit that strong Enzugiri, which I think just left Lesnar completely disoriented. And Styles using his size, his smaller size to Scale that cage as quickly as possible before Lesnar could get back to his feet. So we are all set. Our main event for WWE Extreme Rules at the end of this month will be AJ Styles against John Cena.